Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make the two color spiral, and this is part two, the saga continues. This shirt is turned inside out, and you wanna smooth it out, and then decide where you want the center of your spiral to be, and spiral it up. Now it's time to secure it, and I like to use rubber bands, but you could use kite string if that's what you prefer. I have a link down below for the rubber bands and just about everything else I use for tie-dye down in the description box. I've labeled the bottles teal one and Caribbean blue two. I wanted to make sure that I did not mix them up with the other dyes. I let the shirt rest for about 10 minutes and then I came back and I flipped it over and you just want to repeat the process on the back side. It's been 24 hours and now it's time for the rinse out. And as always, you wanna start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the shirt. And since this has white space, that's important. You wanna get rid of that soda ash so the other colors don't redeposit down on top of that white. Then you gradually increase the water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol. And I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft. And Millsoft really brings the, the softness back to the fabric after the dyeing process. Then I put it in the dryer and we're gonna come back and we're gonna see a side-by-side -side of both shirts. And you tell me what you think.
Well, here it is, guys. Here's our shirt number two after it's been washed and dried. And I don't see much of a difference between shirt number one and shirt number two. The Caribbean blue is a little bit lighter, but it's pretty much still blue. I don't think it looks anything like the swatch up above. I took these swatches right off of Dharma's website so that we could look at them. The teal blue to me doesn't look like teal blue at all on both shirts. And the Caribbean blue doesn't look like Caribbean blue at all on both shirts. So the Caribbean blue is reformulated. And so it is what it is. It's a lovely color in its own right, but it's just not, you know, the old Caribbean blue. And the teal blue, well, it's really not my favorite color at all, but I do think maybe with some earth tones, it might be a nice color. I want to say that Dharma is really helpful in their customer service, and if you have any issue at all, don't hesitate to contact them. They will do their very best to try to fix the situation. So, what do you guys think of these colors? Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell for future notifications. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.